Hi, this is Dan Bell, and this is my uh, video tour of the center at Glen Burnie, formerly the Glen Burnie Mall. Opened in 1963 and is still operating today. And really in no danger of closing, though it is a dead mall. Um, they renovated it, so what they did was they added a bunch of modern retail space uh, around the mall and a bunch of you know name brand um, retailers moved in and so they're carrying the shell of the Glen Burnie Mall which is still there unbelievably anyway this is one of the original entrances um, they used to have two more of these in the front uh, but they removed them and made a more modern, gave it a more modern look. But they kept the old one in the back, in the rear of the mall. This isn't a really big mall, so you'll you'll see in the video. It's uh, not very big at all. I love these uh, original quartz rock walls. They're just so cool looking. Very, very uh, 60s. Um, early 60s mod. So here we go into the mall. It's quite spacious, the mall inside. Um, lots of uh, aged shrubbery. You can see it's th these trees are growing uh, very high. I love these original um, tiles. Um, they almost are like a terracotta color, um, but they were really popular. I think in the s late '60s, early '70s, um, you know, they used to put these tiles in malls, uh, fast food restaurants, stuff like that. So when I see them, I always uh, get excited to see those uh, tiles because they're usually, at this point in time, 2015. Um, they've been replaced. What would a sad mall be without a sad arcade? One thing I noticed, this mall has a lot of um, claw machines with, with varying uh, selection of prizes. this one. I don't know what those are. They're like little alien head um, bouncy balls, I think. Touch pen danglers. And a bubble gum machine. Here is their um, the Glen Burnie Mall's Easter uh, display and I think they're going to have somebody come in dressed as the Easter Bunny and kids can go in and talk to the Easter Bunny so here's looking toward uh, where Target would be and Target isn't connected to the mall it's actually a separate building um, but it's the same property of course one of the uh, oval wishing wells This deli here, this, uh, see there's a Foot Locker right there. This deli, JP's Deli, is the only um, eatery inside of the mall. He serves like coffee, sodas, um, a light menu, but you know, if you need a refreshment or if you work at the mall, he's there. A lot of the kiosks in the middle of the mall are unmanned. I don't really see people manning them, so I don't know if they're open or if they're just for show. Here's more of that red tile, and here's one of the closed store fronts. I love that tile. And I think here, this store, I don't... It looks like it has stuff in it, but it's not open. And I've been here twice now, and it, it's never been open, so... I'm, I'm guessing that it's 
just uh, not open. The sign here says Glen Burnie Mall. I guess everybody in Glen Burnie refers to this place as the Glen Burnie Mall, not the center at Glen Burnie. And here is, when we saw the Dick's Sporting Goods store, this is uh, the interior of that, which is now a uh, furniture store. More of that quartz rock wall. Awesome. Here's the little uh, stage that they have in, in the center at Glen Burnie. I don't know if they have uh, music or shows there, but if they did, I would absolutely go. That would be awesome. This corridor here, all the the, um, the storefronts, I, I don't know if there's storefronts behind these white panels. Uh, it's hard to say. It's possible, I don't know. As you can see, they replaced all the tiles to these more modern uh, tiles. Legal Nails. It would be great if they called that place Illegal Nails. I always thought that would be a great name for a nail shop, Illegal Nails. Here's one of the tree boxes. Here's another machine that's that you can get um, prizes out of. Although I don't know how you win prizes out of this machine, but lots of money and DVDs. Look at this. There's like probably a couple hundred bucks there. Claw machine. I should have played, but I, I didn't. Here's the new uh, entrance in the front where they changed it. They took away the. Uh, the overhang and put put those more modern ones in anyway that's the video thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and visit me on instagram facebook and twitter thanks a lot